Welcome to another lab session. Today, we're diving into the vCenter server backups and scheduled backups, specifically stored on an FTP location using Windows Server 2022. If you're new here, make sure to check out my previous video on how to configure FTP server using Windows Server 2022 for a comprehensive setup guide. This is today's lab setup. Let's get started by logging into the vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface using port 5480. On the summary page, check that the vCenter health status is good and verify the version 7.0 with build number. Navigate to the backup section in the vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface. Here, we have two options for backups, scheduled and manual. First, let's demonstrate how to configure a scheduled backup. Click Configure in the Backup Schedule page and enter the FTP backup location details. These are the supported protocols for vCenter backup. In this lab session, I will use the FTP protocol. Protocol as FTP, server address, port 21, and folder path. Provide FTP username and password. I have previously created FTP underscore USR for backup. Now set the backup frequency. In this lab, I will use daily at 5.35 a.m. Optionally, you can set an encryption password, indicate the number of backups to retain, and select data types. Click Create to complete the setup. Now, you can see the created backup under the backup schedule. We'll wait for the scheduled time. At 5.35 a.m., the backup will initiate, and you can monitor the activity in the list. Remember, the restore process requires both installer and backup versions to be the same. After completion, we'll verify it in the FTP location. If you need a one-time backup, use the Backup Now option. In this lab, I'm using the same FTP configuration for the manual backup. You can either tick the Use Backup Location and Username from Backup Schedule. I will fill this details for the manual backup in same FTP location with a different folder. After completion, let's head to the FTP server and check for the manual vCenter backup folder. If the folder starts with M, it's a manual backup. If it starts with S, it's a scheduled backup. In our next video, we'll delve into the process of restoring vCenter using a backup file. Stay tuned! And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for joining me today.